Hey. <laughs> What's up? It's your boy Sino, man. Let's get into it. Let's talk about these things. Uh, that got everybody so up in the uproar. Skip Bayless got all y'all buzzing right now. <laughs> Over LeBron James Jr. A.K.A. Brian. Skip Bayless came out in a tank, Brian. That was foul, Skip. I'm laughing because the general public don't seem to get or understand anything about what Skip Bayless is actually doing. Skip tried to make it look like it was a compliment to what he was able to do. Skip comment actually says the word impressive in it. But it's condescending in his impressive. <laughs> I mean, he just said, hey, Brody, impressive. But your dad would have dunked it left-handed. You sure got away with it, though. Nothing about that tone or anything was complimentary to Bronny. But it was amazing how everybody picked up on it. He didn't mention that Bronny scored 25. He didn't mention anything about how he played the game. He didn't mention any of these things. Now, Skip Bayless has gotten a lot of fame off of LeBron James isn't the GOAT. And over the last six years, Six or seven years, this has been the going thing about LeBron James not being the GOAT on Fox Sports' uh, show, Undisputed. He has had the same view as I have on LeBron James. We don't think he's exceptional. We don't think he's, well, he looks at LeBron a lot better than I do. I think LeBron is a glorified bum. Now... Somebody might say that's strong. And I might say you might be right. But for where they rank him as the greatest player of all time and try to pass that over to us, the audience, I don't think that that's far off from saying he's a bum as to being compared to a greatest of all time. So when I say bum, I'm looking at it from that standpoint. Like, he would not be a bum compared to, like, any one of us playing against him. But against the elite of all time, he is a bum. So, that way you understand the bum narrative when we say the word bum. Okay? Let's move on. Now, mm -mm -mm. the media decides to jump on Skip Bayless for bashing Bronny. How dare you bash Bronny? This is just unfair and this is ridiculous. Jalen Rose even got in there and started throwing a shot. Jalen, Jalen, I'm not sure many NBA point guards can pull that off. Extremely impressive, and nobody should be overcritical of high school players, in particular those are professional athletes, especially if you're a junior in high school and only average 1.4 points. I'm that just saying. Unbelievable. <laughs> I said something about that last time. And what he's doing. Mark Jalen. So he's trying to mention Skip Bayless averaging 1.4 points in high school. Or in college or whatever when he played ball. 
But since he's on another network, he can't mention Skip Bayless's name. Right? So, everybody's taking a shot at Skip. But this has turned into great publicity for Skip. When there's no real sports going on, I told you they're going to talk about anything. They wouldn't even be covering Bronny if it wasn't for LeBron. They didn't even mention the game. They just mentioned the dunk. I mean, yeah, he's right. Skip is right. He got away with that. If you look at what Skip said, he's absolutely correct. He should have dunked it with the left hand. He dribbled with the left. He went up. He should have dunked it with the left hand. Because that way it cleared a path for him to have the shot not be blocked. It's a lesser chance of the shot being blocked than you know, putting it in your left hand as opposed to going up with your right. And he barely got that off. You know, so... Yeah, he's light years from what he used to be just two years ago. Well, with all the training and the all-star, you know, work ethic that they're putting in and they got all these special trainers and people working on his game, he can't help but improve as a player. But even when all that individual improvement uh, as a player kicks in, if you don't have that drive in you, or that dog in you. I don't really see that in Brian. Like, like he really wants this. I think his father is hijacking his moments. I want to play with Brian. I want to play with my son one year. That's going to happen. I don't care what team I got to go to to make it happen. I want to play with my son. Well, you go buy a team and then you go play for that team then. Because if Bronny's NBA ready, absolutely not. He's not NBA ready. So if he wants to go pro after high school, I would not advise it. I think Bronny actually needs to go to college and develop for about two to three years. And see how strong his game is and see what all he learned in a team atmosphere by people who played at the pro level. Who can get you to the next level. The school I think that he would benefit the most from I wouldn't send him to Duke I wouldn't send him to North Carolina I wouldn't send him to Oregon I would send him to Michigan State Michigan or not even Ohio State no I wouldn't send him to Ohio State I would think those two schools, or even Marquette, could possibly get him ready. But I would, I would, my first school would be sending him to Michigan State. Like Michigan State would be perfect for Bronny. He could hide there. You know, like no one's really going to care that he's Bronny in Michigan State. You know, it's just like go on and do your thing. Um, I wouldn't send him to LSU now, no. Um, Maryland program, I really, because I got to remember the new, there, there's a lot of changes in a lot of these programs, 
So I'm not really familiar with a lot of the new coaches and the new systems that they had in place. I'm familiar with the old system and the current systems that they have in place. But I know about state. Um, Jawan Howard in Michigan, they could help his game, um, kind of get him to the next level. That will be a good fit. Ohio State, I'm not really too sure about. UCLA. Uh, I don't, you know. It's a lot of pros down there that come out and play at the school, but other than that, UCLA is holding on to its old legacy. I don't think I don't see development from UCLA players like that anymore. I don't see him going to Baylor. But that's too small a university. No, I don't see him going to Gonzaga either, but. Uh, he could be a Cal, go to the Bears. I mean, Cal was a good school <clears throat> back in the day. You know, it is what it is, but yeah, it was a good school back in the day. No, I never saw a lot of these things um, come to the forefront, if you want to be honest. I never really saw that uh uh -uh. no 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 if we're gonna go that way No, Skip, Skip Bayless is doing what he's going to do. Once Bronny hit that NBA, he's going to be enemy number one of Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless is going to rip Bronny to shreds, and that's just how it is from the moment he comes into the league. Prepare for it. <laughs> he's already getting ready for it. Look, these sports debate shows have exhausted people. They're growing tired of it. So they don't want to see it no more. Can you blame them? I can't. But it is what it is. You know, that's the state we're living in right now. So. I really think it was a negative. Skip's trying to spin it into like he was giving him a positive thing. He wasn't. He was saying it just for this fact. <laughs> Skip's very good at, at misdirection. Now, Where do I see what Bronny going to? Is he coming to the Lakers? Possibly. The Lakers is good for doing stuff like that. But I, I think they're kind of done with LeBron James. This is, this is what this contract tells me. The two-year extension, they didn't even try to work out a deal to try to extend it. They, I think they just want to get the LeBron James era over with now. And they're looking at this season as being the end of the LeBron season. As... You know,
like we'll give it a go and see what happens this year and after this you know they're not stuck or beholden to having Kyrie Irving on the team or if they stay with um, Westbrook at this point which I don't think Westbrook's going to be on the team that's just not going to happen but it is what it is so with that being said it's your boy Carcino saying don't forget to subscribe to the page hit the cash app on the Patreon we did tell you what happened with Tupac and why the security did not have guns. All the conspiracy theories were thrown out of the window once they saw the video. Alright. That's it. That's all.